uh, product that I design at Nina Ricci, it is, it is very much about the education, um, just uh, giving information about how the product is conceived, um, how it is made, how I work with the ateliers in Paris. I think um, as you give that knowledge uh, to whoever, whether it be a client, because I think the clients are very interested to hear about the crea creative process as well, or whether or not it is a group of students. It's all very enriching, both for me and for them. Now, Nina Ricci is part of the Spanish Pouche uh, conglomerate. They also own other fashion houses. Now, how much uh, benefits uh, do big fashion conglomerates bring to uh, smaller fashion labels? Uh, do they potentially help or, or hinder uh, your creative process? We obviously have less funds that we can put for marketing, for expansion. We don't yet have our own freestanding stores in, in Asia, which is something that we want to do, but um, we'll do it in the markets that we feel are right, when it's right, um, because it's a large investment for what is a smaller group. Obviously, the, the people like LVMH, they can open stores much more easily. They have that, all that money behind them to be, be able to do it. And I'm not saying that they, they don't do their homework. They really do find where and when they should be doing things, but they can go at a faster rate than a smaller house than us. Before being at Nina Ricci, I was working with Marc Jacobs at Louis Vuitton for 12 years. And it, is, it was interesting to be inside one of those, those big groups. So I know what that's like. And I must say that now to be out of it, I, I feel much happier in a smaller structure and to be feeling less like a commodity in some ways.